Today we're going to do the old school throwback full review of the Beauty and the Beast VHS. Now I already know what a lot of you are saying at this moment. A lot of you are saying, but Wayne, you already did that video. As a matter of fact, I didn't. I did not do my old school throwback full review of Bell from Beauty and the Beast, and this is their first ever VHS. I mean, this is truly exciting. I'm gonna grab one of my albums so that we have something to compare it to. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna show you all of the cool stuff that they added and some of the stuff that they left out that they need to fix. Make sure you stick around for this one. This is the first ever Funko Pop VHS or VHS cover Funko Pop, how, however you want to say it. it. It's still the exact same product. And when they start adding like the, the Funko Pop with the, the movies, Funko Pop VHS covers, it kind of gets like a little hard and difficult for me to figure out like exactly how to say it. So I'm just going to say it's the Funko Pop VHS Beauty and the Beast cover. Now this one is called Bell. Funko knew what they were doing when they grabbed these, right? I mean, so so this VHS has sold upwards of $9,000, but in all fairness, it was a Black Diamond classic series that was unopened. I mean, so in all fairness, look, I know you're screaming at it telling me that they don't all sell for that much. I know this and I'm fully aware of it, but Funko was also fully aware of how collectible these VHS covers are going to be. And I'm going to do a full review of this one and I'm going to tell you exactly which ones you should suspect coming up here in the near future because I, I have a list in my head of all of them that have sold upwards of $200 here in the last few years or maybe the last 10 years. Who knows? Because we all know the VHS is, is something that will show our age, right? I mean, because they are, they are at the end of the day a little old and they will exactly show our age. I grabbed the biggie, the very first Funko Pop album. This was their very first run at doing something like this. So I grabbed this one so that we would have a, a pretty fair comparison as to where they were versus where they are. This album, look, this 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 VHS cover, hands down, is, is really, really fire. And the fact that it's number one just makes it even better. Now, right off the start, you have the top of them. So you'll notice on the biggie number one that they didn't have that top up there. On this one, they realized that that was a mistake. And that was a mistake because these guys right here start to pull away and I think you could probably kind of see that right there as it starts to pull away it starts making the box a little wonky so they they fix that in this one and they put that there now you'll notice on this biggie we don't have this corner piece right here so you'll notice that they left out that corner piece they added it in here but that also caused another problem when they added it in here now you have the separation in these two pieces right because what they haven't done is they still have not put the plastic window inside of this like they should be doing they should definitely be putting the plastic window that would hold the box completely together i love the fact that they're trying to give us more of a view more of a open view of the box but they still need to put that plastic window in there I'm sure that it's a cost-effective thing, and that's why they haven't done it. But if you're if if you ever listen to me on anything in this world, Funko, make sure you're putting those plastic windows in there because this box will eventually be all but ruined unless I get some kind of a cover to put it in because all of the pieces will pull away. It'll still have crispy corners. It'll still have crispy all of that, but it won't look like it does right now. It'll have clear like I mean you can already see it like coming up top there. You can already see it in the edges there. You can already see it right in here so it's going to have clear flaws in it this one actually has another flaw in it that that you don't necessarily see so they made it to where you have to take them out of the box and we're gonna get her out of the box because I know that you're wanting to see this one out of the box this one is absolutely epic out of the box I mean absolutely epic out of the box they, they you have to take it out of the box to mount it on the wall now in the early ones they didn't quite get the mounting right the holes are actually in there but they didn't get the holes in the actual background so in order to hang it you're gonna have to either either hang it with the bulge in the background which I'm going to say would eventually crease your background this one they fixed that they fixed the fact that you're gonna have that bulge in the background they put the holes all the way through which to me was genius that 
that they put it all the way through. I'm trying to get this one open. If you're ever trying to open your boxes and you don't want to damage them, if you'll get something flat like this and kind of get up under there and then pull towards you and rise at the same time, you tend to, to get stuff open without damaging the box. And that's always one of my concerns when I'm getting these things open is that I don't want to damage the box. I don't want it to look like I stuck my fingers in it to get it open. I take a lot of attention to detail when I'm getting these out of the box just so that I don't mess it up because I don't, I don't want to mess the box because we all know how collectible the box is at the end of the day, right? There's a lot of people that are only wanting the box. This is really, I mean, out of the box, it has a presence that is far superior to into the box. And I know that Funko was going after that, but they didn't keep into account that there was still a lot of in the box collectors of these. This is very epic. I love how they put her in the center of it versus to the side. You'll notice on the albums, they threw the character more to the side and then left the center open. They didn't do that on this one. They threw her dead center of the case and to what look in my eyes, I think that was really awesome. Now I wish that they would have done her in a different pose, maybe looking up just like you see on the front of the cover. I think that that was a missed opportunity. I, look, you have to throw a comment down below and tell me what do you think about her pose was it a missed opportunity could they have done something different now as I was saying a second ago you can see that they had the holes coming all the way through this time so if you're gonna mount this one on the wall they made it super easy to do without I'm gonna say without damaging the backdrop but I don't know that for sure because I don't ever plan on hanging it on the wall one I'm afraid that it would fall off the wall and it would break two the Target Con sticker is actually on the plastic cellophane. They did not put it under the cellophane. We all know that Funko sends these out to the shared retailer, and then the shared retailer is responsible for putting their own stickers on there on this one. Once again, they didn't take the plastic off to put it on there, which to me goes back to the fact of putting the plastic window in. If it had the plastic window, they would have never stuck it to this. It would have been stuck on the plastic window, and you, you wouldn't... You wouldn't be in the position that not that I'm not at because I'm not taking the plastic cellophane off. But if I was going to take it off, and there's lots of reasons why you should, like all of the breathing air holes that they have in there so that it doesn't collect any moisture on the inside, what I do is I take something like this and I just kind of pop that hole so that it has it can breathe a little so that it doesn't get moisture, it doesn't get all wavy, it doesn't get all messed up on the inside, it doesn't get foggy. All of the things that we know moisture will do inside of, of clear stuff, right? So it they got the holes in there. You just kind of have to poke them in there yourself to make sure that doesn't happen. But if you're going to take this off, if you're going to take this off now, you're going to have to remove this sticker and stick it to this case, hoping that you can remove it from the cellophane. Now, we know that that could be a major problem. I think on the back of the box, there's huge missed opportunities. On the back of this one, it's very, very plain. And it's also very plain on all of them, if we're being completely honest. So this is this is where we're getting into kind of the, the, the you missed an opportunity moment. This is one of those moments where they missed an opportunity to throw an advertisement back there, to throw a number back there, to throw the bottom of the box. I mean, they could have they could have put the bottom of the box back there. They could have put so many things back there, but they didn't because they never expected you to have it turned in a position to where you would see it, right? And I know that doesn't really matter. That's me just kind of, of pointing out the obvious, but they can do something back there. And I wish that they would in the future, whether it was just a big Disney, but something, something back there that says, I care enough that I want that to be equally as cool as the rest of my product. Now, my final conclusion to this is this thing is really cool. They did a great job with it. I can't see any problems with it right off the jump other than the, the little ones that I pointed out about the box. Now, the ones that you're going to see coming up here in the future are all of them that were classic VHS Disney moments. Now, we know that they've already done The Lion King. I mean, we've already seen that one. That was another epic classic VHS that climbed up over $200. I mean, so you can find them on the secondary market, the original. Originals. I think that they start off somewhere around 50 and can climb up over 200. 
There is a long list of other ones, though, that you can you could just about put money on that we're going to see. We're going to see Peter Pan. We're going to see 101 Dalmatians. I don't know if you've thought about that, but we're definitely going to see that one coming up in here in the future. We still are going to see Aladdin, and then we're going to see one next that is going to be my absolute favorite that I am going to make it a point in life to go after is going to be Snow White and Cinderella. I know that there's probably a million more out there that they're going to make, but these are the classic, classic Disney films that this is going to start the run of. I can't wait to see where this line goes in the future. I kind of miss talking about this one when they originally came out with it because I didn't realize what they were doing when they were making this line. But now that I, I realize what's going on, this is going to be an epic line, especially if you are a Disney fan. This is going to bring in a whole new, a whole new, listen to me, this is going to bring in a whole new collector to the Funko community. And it's going to be epic. And I can't wait to see exactly where this line goes. I just, I can't wait. I haven't done one of these talking head videos in a long time, and I thought that maybe it was time that we went back to my old school style of review just for this one. And if you missed this video right here, I'll put it up here at some point. Make sure you go check that out. It's probably already been up now for about two two or three minutes so you're probably late to the game but but go check that out when you have a free minute if you want to see the hunt on this one it was a lot of fun we're still on this 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 vlog style collection i'm having so much fun with it i gotta go grab one of these nerfs right now and, and give one of my kids a hard time or let's 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 go play pac-man that probably sounds like a better idea because i'm just building up the revenge at this point Got something in my eye, don't tell anybody. <laughs>